Good afternoon all. Look what I've just found. Look at all these seeds what have germinated. These are foxgloves. It appears that the one what, I, what was growing over there is not a foxglove. But look at them all. We've got a few more in one of the other trays as well. Some that looks a bit like an, the early tomato, doesn't it? I don't know. Don't know what's happening with my seed. I'm going to leave it for the moment. But that's uh, put the cover back on. Obviously, like it in there. Right, I've done all the watering. Now, Bill asks how I water. All I can say is when the seeds... I use a fine spray on one of these watering cans. These are 9 litre watering cans. A bit blocked because we've got uh, stuff growing in the water tanks. Um, but you have to use a fine one else you'll flood them. Um, I either do that or I was using that initially. Obviously, if they're very new um, seedlings, then you're better using a spray like that. But to give them a good soaking, and maybe sometimes get away with two days without watering in the tunnel, it's not very often, because if the sun comes out, chances are it's got to be done every day. Um, but yesterday, I'd, I got away without doing it. Um, so yeah, so I use that. Um, when the plants are like these heights, I'll use it on a mole, and it does make life easier. Um, it'll certainly do on the tubs and the troughs, as you can see here. Right, little update on oh, oh, on the subject of watering. When I'm at home. Uh, we've got the front and back garden, we've got a hose connected into both areas and all I do is disconnect it from the tap and plug in the other one when I'm swapping from one to the other. Uh, it's, no, it's too much hassle to keep rolling it out and getting it tangled up. Um, so my advice, leave them set up and do it that way. Right, the climbing French beans. No longer need this mouse trap. I bet I've got to be careful when I turn that off. I don't want to get caught. Um, we can clearly see now which ones the mice actually ate the seeds. Um, it appears. Oh no, we've got one in. We've got one coming now. Oh, hang on a minute. I've got to be careful here, aren't I? Sorry about that. Um, Oh well, that's, that's it. Take that out of the way. Right, okay. So we've got one in there. Looks as though that was one. Possibly that one. And that one at the end. So we have three where we lost them from. Um, I did actually put some more seeds in. In fact, we've got another one coming through in here. Um, so I'm just trying I'm just having a quick count. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 28, 29, 30. There's another one coming there. 32, 33, 34, 36, 7, 8, 9, 41, 42. We've got 44 at the minute. Um 44, I've got, I'm just trying to think how many canes, I've got 5, I've got 10 canes in each one, 44, that'd be about right then, 10, 20, no we'll get 2 up each cane, would have liked to have had more, but that'll have to do, can't grumble, still got some of these Marmandi tomatoes left, um, I've actually um, potted the ones I want up underneath here, so they're really surplus to requirements and probably the leaks that if we're going to need many of those because I've already got them in 
But I will keep probably those two down there. I'll give that one away. I've got some of my dahlias having a good soak, soaking down here, getting ready. I planted the beetroot in between the um, lettuce and the parsley. It's, they seem to have survived okay. Carrots are still growing slowly. Put a few more beetroot down the back here with the onions. And we've got some at the back there, we've got some Afri Mar African marigolds. We've also got some African marigolds over here in the back. And obviously the lettuce, they're growing nicely. Right, let's have a... I've got some more dahlias here having a soak, plus those what are on the floor. Oh, did I mention about the carrots? I don't know whether I have. I'm experimenting. So I've got some carrot plants in these buckets, in these uh, cylinder uh, pipes. And I've also tried a long one. They're not giant variety, they're just bog standard, just for a laugh. Just want to, and I'm, just to see how it goes with the watering in the tunnel and if it's successful then I might try my hand at some giant ones next year. It's looking good isn't it the tunnel. It's hard to believe that it's only what we we're only about six weeks since this tunnel went up and all this has come on. Right let's go and have a peep then go and have a peep see what's going on. Oh I'll tell you what I have done. You remember all those raspberries and loganberries and um, gooseberries? I've moved them all outside here so they can get a good soaking in the rain and um, if we look when you look closely you can you can clearly see the ones that certainly have survived this has this has and that has and i'm just having a quick peek that's a golden raspberry golden raspberry and golden raspberry so it looks as though that will be a success taking those out you could pretty well take them out in the spring um, obviously it's best in the autumn, but if they're growing and they're a nuisance, take them out, pot them on, pass them on. It's my advice. Um, not sure about this raspberry here, but I've got a feeling, I've got a feeling that's going to be all right, you know. Pretty sure. And that one, that one's been a success. And what is, let's just have a look. That's the same, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, or is that normal? Oh yeah, that's a golden. That's a golden. And I can see we've got new shoots on that one, so that's a success. That one, I think at the end there, is probably a goner. But uh, we'll leave it and see. These are the... Guzgogs. Guzbriz. <laughs> I've obviously, uh, was, when I wrote that, I was obviously feeling as though I couldn't get it mixed up. And, um, and that's a raspberry, that's a normal raspberry. So that's that, sorry, it wasn't. And that's another normal raspberry. Their success. Oh, what have we got here? Loganberry. So that's that one. And then we've got Loganberry, another Loganberry there. And this is me. This is the other gooseberry. It's looking good. And then I think these are Loganberries. That's a golden raspberry. I think maybe that one's probably not survived but we'll see and these loganberries I think uh, they stand a good ch mm, no no yeah that one that one could be all right this one's no good that's clearly no good right
Oh. Hey, that's a bad sign when you're talking to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Just a guest appearance from Morris here. I, he, didn't even hear him come up. No. <laughs> They used to call me Creeping Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm switching off for now, catch you a bit later. Hello, I'm back again, just a quickie here. Nigel's having a, a go at doing some, uh, creating new apples off my Braeburn apple. What apple is it you're crossing it with? It's a variety called Bayer Marissa. There you are. So, this is going to be an interesting year. There's a... Uh, done it on 30 and we're hoping that we might get uh, what would be a couple of apples well one, one in ten usually so, so we'll three apples we might, we might get three three we're hoping yeah. for and then we uh, obviously then we'll get the pips out of there and we'll try and create this new apple which has got a red flesh is that right that's right yeah that's right okay